What's up YouTubers and fellow collectors? Welcome back to my channel. Now today for all of you, I have some more hand bills and prints to get into, so let's get right into it. Uh, first up are some hand bills from the Fantastic Mr. Fox movie, and the one in the middle is from Attack the Block that was given out uh, during Stout's gallery show at Mondo a few years ago. Um, but yeah, the hand bills of the Fantastic Mr. Fox are extras that Stout gave out if you got the prints, so, which I did. These are very nice, pretty cool in person. And I forget this character's name, but he's a uh, an attack the block. That's pretty cool as well. And then down here, I got a couple of Mondo pine glasses for the Doctor Strange movie, which was pretty cool of him breaking out of the glass there. Then this one's of the new Ghostbusters movie. Wasn't a big fan of this film, but uh, I wanted the pine glass for it because I have the other, so I might as well keep the collection going. But yeah, awesome pine glasses. Mondo does a great job with all of those, so looking forward to getting more in the future. Alright guys, that's the end of this, and we'll get into the next one. Alright, so the next thing I have for all of you is this stout handbill uh, from the Fantastic Mr. Fox movie. Um, this is really the only handbill that I wanted from the series, which is, you know, everyone riding the motorcycle. I think it looks really cool. Um, the individual character handbills, I've had some, but I've traded those away for other, for other things that I really wanted more. But yeah, this handbill is really cool. It's pretty sought after by everyone, so I'm really happy to get this on eBay for a really, really good price. I was pretty surprised. Uh, sometimes eBay uh, totally comes through and delivers. But yeah, really nice hand bill. Totally going to hang this up. Alright guys, that's the end of this and we'll get into the next print. Alright guys, so next up we have some more hand bills. Let's start with the hand bills up here from Fantastic Mr. Fox. And the Lost Boys hand bill that Stout did uh, like a couple years ago I think it was. Um, but these are pretty cool. I think I will keep Mr. Fox and definitely the Lost Boys. <clears throat> Badger will probably be trade bait. But uh, yeah, the detail in these are very nice. This one from the Lost Boys uh, has a very nice metallic layer. Um, but it's also very good. Just Tinkerbell at the top. There's Badger. Uh, down here we have the newest pros and cons. This is series four. Um, we got Bodie from uh, Point Break, Officer Lewis from RoboCop, Doctor Lazarus uh, from Galaxy Quest, and uh, Lurch from uh, Hot Fuzz. The guy who said Yarp, <laughs> that, that's the only thing he said. Well, I guess he also said Narp, or he responded to Narp. But yeah, very cool set. There's uh, three more in this set as well. Uh, Egg Shen from um, Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, the Cable Guy, um, Jim Carrey's character in that movie. And uh, Buckaroo Banzai as well. But yeah, very cool set. I think this might be the best pros and cons set yet. It's definitely my favorite, I would say. I mean, um, the other pros and cons had like pieces and characters that I liked, um, but only a couple. Uh, this set, I pretty much liked and wanted all of them. So hopefully I can track down the other two that I want, which is Cable Guy and Egg Shun. But yeah, very cool hand bill set. These are very nice. Alright guys, that's the end of this, and we'll get into the next thing. Alright everyone, so the next hand bills I have for all of you are from the Star Wars Rogue One movie. Um, the artist who did this was New Flesh. Uh, this is just a set of hand bills of various characters. Um, all the hand bills are numbered out of 50, which was the edition size. So I have 45 out of 50. I think this hand bill set is really, really cool looking. I love how big the Vader and Jin Urso handbills are. 
This one right here is a variant to the Death Trooper with an edition size of only four, so that's pretty cool. That was an added extra. Didn't know I was getting that. But yeah, Vader and Jyn Erso look so cool. Jyn looks badass. Rogue One was such a good movie. Seriously. If you guys haven't watched it yet, do yourself a favor and go watch it. It's pretty much everything you love about uh, episodes 4 through 6. And, uh, you know, that last hour of Rogue One, I could honestly watch over and over again. It is that good. But yeah, love all the handbills, love all the characters, the Death Trooper, Director Critic up here. Then, of course, everyone's favorite new droid, K2SO, who was so cool in this movie. You know, it's amazing how uh, Disney keeps churning out uh, lovable droids. But yeah, very cool set. Very happy to have it. So, got to figure out how I'm going to frame these and display them. All right, guys, that's the end of these handbills, and we'll get into the next thing. Alright, so the next hand builds I have for all of you is this Rogue One Part 2 set from Noob Flesh. Uh, these look really, really cool. I think they're just as awesome as the first set. Uh, I think the likenesses are pretty good. Um, and they're just uh, really nicely done hand builds. You know, the metallics in these pop really, really well. Especially in uh, Tark in here that we're about to get into. As you can see in the suit, I mean, that silver metallic just pops throughout the whole thing. It's pretty awesome. Got Admiral Radis. Then you also get an extra, a surprise extra, and I got a Admiral Radis foil. You can see it's 1-1. Uh, one, one. So really nice. Yeah, the, these handbell sets, the first one and this one, are just really, really cool. Um... I think I'll put them all in a book and just display them on a coffee table for people to look through. But yeah, really nicely done handbills. And if New Flesh does any more handbills for cool movies in the future, I'll definitely keep an eye out and get them. All right, guys, that's the end of these handbills, and we'll get into the next ones. All right, the next prints I have for all of you are these awesome How to Train Your Dragon prints by Patrick Conan. Uh, this is the regular on the left and the variant on the right. Um, so here's some of the detailing. This is such a great print in person. Absolutely fantastic. It works perfectly for the movie. Um, this color variant is pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. I like the, the blue inks a lot in this. Very, very, very nice. This has an edition size of 165. You can see the two is hidden in the glaciers melting, which is pretty cool. All this ink color right here, as well as the orange, are metallic inks. So this print has a very, very nice uh, sheen to it. Such a great print, it really is. Now for the variant, it has the same colorway as the original How to Train Your Dragon print, so they go perfectly together. Um, this copper red variant is very, very nice too. This is the one I'll be keeping. The My friend actually has the regular for the first one, so he gets the regular in the second. But the detailing in this, like I said, very nice. Colorways are excellent. Toothless looks awesome. Now for this, anything in this copperish color and the red are metallic inks. So this has a very nice sheen to it as well. Just such a great print really really is all right guys that's the end of this print and we'll get into the next one all right so the next print I have for all of you is this very cool predator print by James Ream Davis 
You know, the guy's starting to become one of my favorite artists. I just really like his style, and I think it fits this uh, movie perfectly. There's, this is the regular version. There's a variant, which is uh, glow in the dark. I kind of wish I had that one, but uh, I like the colorway of this one a lot, and I think it fits really well. But yeah, the detail in this is fantastic. The style works perfectly. This was definitely a surprise uh, print when it was dropped at uh, New York City Comic Con. This is long sold out now, but really happy to have it. Mine's uh, signed and numbered as well, so. But yeah, really fantastic print. Likenesses are, are just great. Um, and like I said, the style absolutely fits perfectly. All right, guys, that's the end of this print, and we'll get into the next one. All right, so the next print I have for all of you is this awesome Moana print by Tom Whalen. Uh, this was done by Cyclops Prints Works. Um, but yeah, this thing's really, really nice. This is the regular, I believe. There should be a variant version coming out, but uh, this one is pretty cool. This isn't mine. I helped my friend get this, so this will be going to him. But uh, the detail in this is very nice. Very on par with the rest of Whalen's uh, other Disney work. He always does a great job with this stuff. There's Maui. There's cool uh, tattoos. Moana. Pua and Hey Hey. That's very cool. And you get a bigger portrait of Moana sailing. And then at the top there it says uh, the ocean is calling. But yeah, pretty cool print. Very well done, very nicely printed. The colors on this are fantastic in person. Alright guys, that's the end of this print and we'll get into the next one. Alright, so up next I have for all of you this 7 print by Christopher Cox. Now this thing's really, really cool. I think it's perfectly creepy and um, a perfect print for Halloween, which is when I will hang this up. Um, this is one of those year-round prints that you have up forever. Uh, unless you're some sort of psychopath or something, <laughs> but yeah, this is a really cool print. Um, I think it fits the movie perfectly, captures memorable scenes. I uh, like the whole silhouette thing, that it's all encompassed in Morgan Freeman's character. Looks very, very nice. Very well done poster in my opinion. There's all the seven deadly sins at the top. And where you see that help me, that's actually a glow in a dark layer. So at night it really shines through and it uh, makes the print even more creepy. So really, really well done. Super happy with this. This was a commission piece, so great commission for such a messed up and memorable movie. Alright guys, that's the end of this print and we'll get into the next one. Alright, so the next print I have for all of you is this awesome jock print of Enter the Dragon. Uh, I think it looks really cool. The jock style just fits really well with certain movies. Um, I think this is one of them because it has like that gritty feel to it. Jock's artwork is just getting cooler and cooler every time I see it. This was for the one of the screenings at Monocon 3. Yeah, and it's funny because the screening was actually on the 23rd, a Sunday. But this says 22nd. So I'm wondering if last minute there was some sort of change as to why this was bumped up a day. But yeah, simple print, but looks very nice. Supposedly there's a regular that's in English, but uh, I think that it's in Chinese is pretty awesome. And I think fits really perfectly. Also signed by the artist, which is always nice. 
and it has an additional size of 300. Alright guys, that's the end of this print and we'll get into the next one. Alright, so the next print I have for all of you is the Enter the Dragon uh, regular. Um, you saw the variant in another video of mine. Uh, but the regular is different colorway, pretty much the same as the as the variant, but uh, it has actual color in it, like skin tones and Bruce Lee. Uh, so I think that looks really good, and it's in uh, English instead of uh, Chinese. So yeah, it looks awesome. This is actually going to a friend. I helped him get this at the drop, but it looks very good. Has the same like Mondocon writing stuff for the premiere. But yeah, pretty cool Bruce Lee print. Jock did a really good job. Looks very nice. Alright, that's the end of this print and we'll get into the next one. Alright, so the next print I have for all of you is this a clockwork orange print by Rory Kurtz. Uh, this thing is very sensual. It's probably like the most sensual print that I have. Um, I saw the screening at Mondocon. and I've seen the movie before plenty of times, but uh, they had a screening of this at Mondocon, and everyone got a uh, print for it. Um, the Mondocon version is black uh, with pearlescent paper, I think, and this one's clearly orange. I actually like this one better just because, you know, it has the whole orange background. Um, and I think it makes the white pop more in a way so I definitely like how this looks um, it's on pearlescent paper so certain sections of this print really just shines and uh, almost glitters so it looks really really nice the detail in it's pretty good too Rory Kirch did a really good job on this it's uh, not a print that would that I would hang up all year round but you know something during Halloween I would definitely put this up I think it works perfectly then yeah the details pretty good and I just like the whole image of it like I said it's pretty sensual which is way different than uh, any of the other clockwork orange prints that are out there so I just like that uh, this was done in such a different way all right guys that's the end of this print and we'll get into the next one Alright, so the next print I have for all of you is this really cool Who Framed Roger Rabbit print. This thing is really amazing. I love the noir look it has. The detail is awesome. This was done by uh, Tim Anderson. And I just think he nailed this print. It's really, really cool. You know, for a movie... This movie was so, done so differently and it's just always like stuck with me, so really happy to have a print for it. Got Roger Rabbit right there. <laughs> he looks all terrified. Of course, Jessica Rabbit. Got the judge and his weasels over there. I mean, just this thing's really, really cool. Baby Herman. Yeah. Such a great print. Really well done. Totally gonna put this up. It looks awesome. Alright guys, that's the end of this print and we'll get into the next one. Alright, so the next print I have for all of you is this awesome Rogue One print by Turks Works. Now I won this in a giveaway done on Twitter and Instagram over uh, Christmas. Um, yeah, but this thing is just really, really cool. Um, it's a very well done print, uh, you know, of the Battle of Scarif, the Death Troopers. It's just very, very nice looking. I love the whole tropical background scene, all the stormtroopers in the ocean. Yeah, this print looks amazing. Really, really happy with it. I think the only drawback is this is uh, 20 by 30 instead of 24 by 36. But, you know, 
the print itself, like I said, is awesome. Really, really nice detail. Super well done. You know, this could have been a really cool one sheet too. That theaters wanted to do, go this route. But yeah, awesome print. Really happy with it. All right, guys, that's the end of this print, and we'll get into the next one. All right, so the next print I have for all of you is this Rogue One print by Gumroad. Now, this thing's just really, really cool looking. I love the retro vintage look to it. Looks like one of those really old one sheets where they folded them. As you can see, that's why it has that folding line. But yeah, this thing's simple, really nice looking. Probably one of my favorite prints. Like, like I said, I just love the whole vintage look to it. Very, very awesome. Felicity Jones, the likenesses. Of Felicity Jones looks really good. Stormtroopers up there, the walkers. It's sized uh, 18 by 24, so it's pretty perfect for putting up wherever you want. It doesn't take up too much space. Alright guys, that's the end of this print and we'll get into the next one. Alright, so the next prints I have for all of you are a couple of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas prints by Nikita Khan. Now if you can believe it or not, this print has seven different versions. I have two of them here, um, the two that I really liked out of the seven. Uh, the one on the left is uh, called Bad Trip, and the one on the right is called the Devil Ether. So we'll get into the Bad Trip. As you can see, he has scaling throughout the print like he's imagining turning into a lizard. Um, it has a perfectly awesome pukey green and gray color throughout. And the Jupiter eye. You can see the scaling throughout the print. It fits really well with the whole bad trip thing, so perfectly done for this trip or for this print. The details are awesome. Now in the Devil Ether, it's printed on a lava hollow foil paper. Now I am not a foil print guy by any means. I actually hate foil prints, but this one, and I never thought I would say this ever, but I am in love with this foil print. I think it it's perfectly done and it perfectly suits the whole theme of the movie and the look, you know, like he's high as fuck, seeing rainbow colors. So um, I just think it really, really fits the movie very well. It's just a very well done print. And you can see the, the lava effect throughout the print, which is, like I said, just makes this print awesome and it goes really well with it. Really happy to have both versions. Now both versions also have like a black light ink layer. So I'll have to put these under black light and see how that turns out, but really happy to have these. And as a Las Vegas native, I kind of just felt like I needed to have a Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas prints, so these will do for me. All right, guys, that's the end of this prints, and we'll get into the next one. All right, so the next print I have for all of you is the Fantastic Mr. Fox variant by Tyler Stout. Now, you guys have seen the regular in a previous video, but this thing is way different. Um, it's the same concept, it's just the color scheme to this. Um, it's just, you know, it changes the print completely, I think. Um, it's so vastly different from the other one. Uh, the regular is still my favorite, but I had the chance to pick this up. Um, so I did kind of just to complete the set. Um, but yeah, this color scheme is way different than anything I certainly have. But I think it's kind of cool. And there's a, a crap ton of uh, metallic inks in this print. So anything in this brownish color here and in this silver color here and here is metallic ink. So there's so many metallic inks in this print, which is really, really cool. But yeah, this thing looks really, really good. Looking forward to uh, 
framing this with the other Fantastic Mr. Fox and putting them up together on the wall. The detail in this is cool. I would say about the only thing that kind of grosses me out about this print is the green chicken. Like, uh, yeah, probably don't want to eat that. <laughs> but yeah, everything else about this print is really cool looking. Like I said, that color scheme is so different from anything Stout has done and certainly anything I have in my collection. It's very cool. Very nice. Alright guys, that's the end of this print and we'll get into the next one. Alright, so the next print for, I have for all of you is this awesome Monster Squad print by Tyler Stout. Uh, now this print has been one that I've wanted for a long time now. And it took me a better part of uh, six months, probably more than that, to find this. Um, you know for a price that I wanted but I'm really happy to have this now this thing looks absolutely wonderful in person you know stouts uh, older work you know there's just a certain style to it you know it's rugged but it looks really really cool super happy to have this all the monsters up there and Frankenstein off to the side awesome print cannot wait to hang this up um, during Halloween, um, it looked really, really good. Yeah, the detail in this is pretty cool. I think it's way, way better in person than in JPEGs. But very happy to have this. There's a, the amulet there. But yeah, this thing is awesome. Really glad to have it. And it's also signed and numbered by Stout T, so that's always nice. But yeah, guys, if you can track this down, do it. This is actually the regular too, by the way. Um, there's a blue version of this, which is the variant, but to me, the red looked better. It just It's more Halloween to me, the red version. But yeah, happy to have this in my collection. I'm running out of old Stout prints to collect. You know, I don't have that many left that I need to get, so... Um, we'll track down Star Wars next and then I don't know what after that we're running out of prints here to get which is a good thing alright guys so that's the end of this print and we'll get into the next one alright so the last print I have for all of you in this video is the Stout Reservoir Dogs now this print is just so sick I mean I think it's really really good looking uh, it fits the movie perfectly and has all the little Easter eggs and scenes, memorable scenes. Um, this thing is awesome. I got this as a Christmas gift uh, from a buddy of mine. So he really uh, hooked it up with this. This thing is so cool. Um, this is the last print I needed um, to complete my Tyler Stout Tarantino set. I have all the rest of the Tarantino movies that he did. So to get this one to uh, round it out and complete it, well, at least for the ones he's done so far, very happy with it. But yeah, the detail in this is incredible. Lots of gold, uh, copper, and silver metallics throughout the whole print. And it's always nice to see Tarantino immortalized in a stout print. This was a, must have been a pretty cool screening to go to. Celebrating the 20th anniversary. Such a cool print. I mean, it is really, really nice. I don't know if the metallics are coming through, but in person, it, it shines really, really well. Alright guys, that's the end of this print and video. If you guys ever want a cool place to hang out, meet new people, talk about anything and everything pop culture related, check out Statue Collectors United, the Facebook page. The link will be in the description. And until my next print review, I will catch you all later. And remember as always, happy collecting.